My name is Roshi Nistral, and as Dean Chan has said, I'm a senior in Dietrich College. Firstly, I want to say congratulations on beginning your journey at Carnegie Mellon University and at Dietrich. You're about to join a college that is uniquely interdisciplinary and is a supportive family, a family I was welcomed into with open arms on day one. In times like these where so many things remain uncertain, I appreciate that sense of family so much more, and I'm thrilled to welcome you into our family. The summer before my first year, I had scheduled my first meeting with my ac academic advisor, Anna Maria. I was excited, but also very nervous to embark on my journey at CMU. I had no idea what I wanted to major in, and I had heard rumors that at CMU, you didn't really have much time to decide. Anna Maria asked me about my possible major options, and I listed out probably every single major that existed in Dietrich. We both laughed, and she assured me that things would work out. Anna Maria also quickly dispelled the rumors and told me I did, in fact, have time to figure things out. I had until the second semester of my sophomore year, which is a luxury that Dietrich has. A piece of advice I have for you first years is to not be afraid to try new things. Even if you already know what you'd like to major in, take a class in a completely different field and you never know what you might discover. After many meetings with Anna Maria and trying a lot of different courses, I finally declared psychology with a minor in cognitive neuroscience. Even though my primary advisor was now Dr. Marlene Berman in the psychology department, Anna Marie and I still to this day meet to just catch up on each other's lives, which is a testament to the Dietrich culture of family and of forming genuine personal connections. Starting the second semester of my first year, I joined Dr. Marlene Berman's lab, which focused on the cognitive basis of visual perception. This was my first research experience and was the beginning of yet another lifelong connection that Dietrich has given me. Dr. Berman quickly became my mentor, both academically and personally, and helped me grow as a researcher and as a student in general. We even played squash together, which is a special relationship to have with one's advisor. I have been fortunate to become even closer to Dr. Berman this summer as I began my research for my senior honors thesis, and I look forward to continuing to work closely with her throughout the rest of my time at CMU. Dietrich has also allowed me to continue to pursue my passion for social justice advocacy. On day two of my orientation, I met Ayana Ledford, who is Dietrich's Director of Diversity and Inclusion. She made a joke and greeted me with her infectious laugh. Ever since that moment, I knew I would form a strong relationship with her too, and we have in fact done just that. In addition to being part of my personal support system at CMU, Ayana has connected me with many opportunities, such as my internship at the Women's Law Project, which fights for the rights of women, girls, and members of the LGBTQ community, and introducing me to the Data-Driven Diversity Lab, which uses psychology and behavioral economics to understand the experiences and sense of belonging of students of different identities at CMU. In addition to developing as a student academically, I've been able to excel in my extracurricular passions. I quickly discovered that although I have been part of many different organizations throughout my time at CMU, if you want to have an impact and have a deeply enriched experience, dedicating your focus and time on just a few main organizations is the way to go. After realizing this, I narrowed down my options and joined CMU SAS, a South Asian fusion all-female identifying acapella team, where I've been able to continue my love for music and singing and been able to embrace my Indian heritage. And CMU Aum, CMU's Indian, Indian spiritual and cultural organization, which is responsible for planning and hosting large-scale charity events pertaining to the South Asian culture and religious festivals. Our biggest event is the Holi event, which has more than 2,000 guests and celebrates the Hindu festival of color during Carnival. My leadership in both of these organizations are just two examples of how extracurriculars have helped me grow my abilities and develop crucial skills. Thinking back to these memories, I would have never thought that being in person without a mask and within six feet of people would be something I took for granted. When we went online in the second half of spring 2020, those meaningful relationships I had formed with my advisors, professors, and friends reminded me of why I was so lucky to be in Dietrich. The mentors I previously mentioned all reached out to me to check in or to have a Zoom call. These small yet impactful actions made me feel supported and part of a community. Dr. Cody Mankey, the director of the Data Driven Diversity Lab, led group support sessions and discussions throughout the summer, pertaining to the horrific murders of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and countless black Americans by police. It was these meetings that made such overwhelming and disheartening times slightly more manageable. Although these are difficult times, we are still part of a community and together we can persevere. With that in mind, you are now part of our family, and I can only imagine the added stress the pandemic has caused on top of the usual nerves of starting college. As an orientation leader, I hope to virtually help with your transition and to still make orientation a memorable and enjoyable experience. As a student at CMU, I hope to be there for you in any way possible, and I really mean that, whether that's if you have questions about academics, extracurriculars, or if you just want to have a distance or virtual coffee. 
Together, we will navigate and overcome these surreal times. I look forward to seeing how you grow and make your impact in Dietrich and at CMU. I wish you all the best of luck and I hope to meet you soon. Thank you so much.